And welcome, everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Twisted Fizz. Sorry, bringing this deck back. Haven't played it in a while. Uh, definitely a deck that I like. We have all of our Bilgewater stuff um, with Twisted Fate being a real fun card to play. And then combining that with Freljord, where Freljord gives us some good ones with like Elixir of Iron, Omen Hawk, Starlet Seer. Awesome card. Um, and I'm going to be playing a couple Shared Spoils. That's going to be something new. Something I'm uh, getting a, a couple more cheaper burst speed spells in here. We've kind of found out the Warning Shot's actually really good. And uh, whenever I played this deck before, I'd play Parlay. And so we're going to be playing Warning Shots instead. Get those fizzes. Um, you know, protect them easier. Being burst speed instead of fast speed or slow. Whatever Parlay is. Slow. Yeah. And then also just that burst speed's really good for our black market merchant, pilfer goods, shared spoils, stuff like that. So yeah, this is basically just um, steal their stuff, draw a whole bunch of cards, um, and pump up pump up your allies in your deck a whole lot. And uh, that's, that's kind of what we got. Um, yeah, Warning Shot is pretty awesome with Fizz. So here we go, bunch of cheap stuff. In our deck, uh, 26, if I remember correctly, 26 of our 40 cards um, are two mana or less. So a whole bunch of cheap stuff so we can really uh, play a lot of spells every turn. And that's good to have. All right, I'm going to get rid of Zap Sprayfin. Jaw Hunter's... Jaw Hunters isn't bad, like challenging Fiora. I'm gonna get rid of Sprayfin and get rid of Elixir of Iron. And keep these. Sure, I'll just go turn one Fizz. That's fine. Fizz is the kind of card that while it can while it can be super powerful in the late game when it's leveled up, you don't have to. It, you don't have to just completely play your whole game plan or, around it. I guess what I mean is you don't you don't have to like protect it. That's what that's the word I'm looking for. You don't really have to just like protect it all the time. It's not like Twisted Fate where <clears throat> you're incredibly rewarded for keeping Twisted Fate in play. It's okay if it's okay if you trade Fizz off. It's also just a one mana card. Would well, have been nice to have you last turn, Omen Hawk. Is this even a good trade? Probably not. See, it wouldn't be bad to draw one of those warning shots. It would not be bad to draw one of those warning shots. Hawk's my best Grizzled Ranger blocker. Danger paid. To the base. Honor guide me. Eat up, friend. Reel him in. Alright, so not too bad. Yeah, Bilgewater song is amazing, isn't it? <sighs> okay. 
Okay, not bad. <clears throat> this could... I mean, if they, if they have, like, their champions, like Garen, this could get messy. Never mind, I'm casting this right now before they play something else and I miss hitting that Fleet Feather Tracker. Yes, I could have cast Pilfered Goods right there. I want the cards to cost two less. I want them to cost less. One and two. I want to play this Black Market Merchant first. Or they, that, that's the cost less. <laughs> Sorry, that was number one. Uh, number two, I'd like to have Twisted Fate in play. Uh, well, this was a bummer. My plan was play. My plan this turn was Twisted Fate Red Card, Merchant, Pilfered Goods. And that'd be three cards right there. That was my plan. Plan didn't work out. Yeah, some of your best laid plans don't work out. Wow. By my honor, you must die. Well, now I can go Twisted Fate. Gosh, I guess I could do blue card. But no, I probably want to go gold card. And try to kill that thing. I'm glad we don't have to do red card. Be useful. Unyielding twisted fate. <laughs> it's already four out of eight. Not a bad thing to purify. We go. Do I purify that? Just take four from it. I'll probably take four. Yeah, that's a card. I'd rather purify that thing.
you're bluffing. All right, sorry, Starlet Seer. this turn am I because like if I just attack out I'm probably not turning on pilfer I mean maybe we turn on plunder if I just attack out like four four eats two one two two trades with three one gotta trust your instincts so otherwise I play the hoarder first and have the fleet feather tracker challenge Fiora better chance that we turn on plunder and then I play the black market merchant Soldier, to me. never mind Ugh. never mind looks like trouble The third bannerman. Do not waver. Why have we never sparred, Fiora? The outcome was obvious. Smell that? A bite to cook it. All right, draw some card draw. No, more elixirs. No, this is, I don't know, still. Why is that thing attacking? I'm sure. Good dog. What's the point of that? Radiant Guardian? Basically playing this to have it, that be able to block. Demacia, now and forever. Yeah, this is a problem. You don't have salvage in this deck, so there's no card draw. Strike quickly, what? Strike deftly. Try me. Oh God. Try we have card draw in our deck. Yordle Grifter, Zap Sprayfin. I have no Eastwood. Okay, so those are the only two that with no plunder. With plunder, there's a lot more, but those are the only two with, with no plunder. You can win them. Alright, so Riptide Rex still did its job. Just being a big scary 10 7. Did its job. Yeah, you don't want to class me. Blue as the serpent. Ooh, a couple warning shots. All right, so warning shot. Let's see. They know about this one. Yeah, they know about this one that Yorl Grifter created. So let's play that one. Warning shot red card. 
something for all. It does seem like the only way I lose this nine mana, you know, they have like judgment, you know, they have another gear, the, like, this card is in hand, you know, judgment, like with the Fiora. So I can't, I can't just go crazy and attack with a bunch of stuff. So maybe just these two. This will kill Fiora. Now Fiora is the biggest thing. So gold card. I guess I could. Oh, I could have just played Grizzled Ranger. I should have just played Grizzled Ranger for gold card. Yeah, I should have just played this for gold card. Not the warning shot. Oh well. Right, because we had the, we had the opening. The ten seven leaving. Twisted Fate. Unyielding, unyielding Spirit. Still a great card. Alright, Draven Ezreal. So is this the, the control deck Draven Ezreal? Or is this just burn in... Um, or is this just a burn deck? that is hiding out. It's a control deck, I wouldn't mind keeping that Yordle Grifter. But we have a lot of four mana cards. Hey, all right, Wakanda donation deck. All right, Mama Man, yeah, have a good night. Thanks for, the, thanks for that big raid, that was really nice. Thank you, thank you. All right, pass turn. What's our donation deck we got here? My donation deck notification thing is not working super well. A Funsmith Riptide Rex deck. Yeah, how to... Question was how to counter Unyielding besides Recall. Um, uh, yeah, the other things you can do is Obliterate. Um, you can Detain. You can purify if it's a follower. But that's about it. Alright, so looks like it is. Looks like it is control deck. Basically playing that to just so I didn't waste two mana and get you know get the Starlet Seer trigger. <laughs> so we make that big Omen Hawk. Got 
Gotta make those big omen hawks. Uh... And just drawing more cards. The more cards we draw, the better. Five. Five damage is an absurd amount of damage. Make it rains. Need to find some more pilfer cards. Blessed by snow and stars. So we're one less card than them. We got a better, there we go, there's a Pilfer cards. We have a better, um, better board. Thank you, I will take that Mystic Shot. So right now we have six, seven. We have seven damage. Uh, just gonna go ahead and play this right now. Get two more uh, Starlet Seer pumps. There we go. And maybe I should have just done another one. Eh, there's a warning shot on top anyway. That's an annoying one. I have the best job. Okay, I'm going to I'm gonna cast one of these two warning shots again just to get another Starlet Seer trigger before the progress day. Y'all think that Twisted Fate is better as an 8-8? That's, that's probably more fair, right? Getting an 8-8 Twisted Fate for three mana? What if this was just a card? What if what if Twisted Fate cost three mana and was an 8-8? That would probably be, be better, right? More fair. Couldn't use Elixir of Iron to save because they dealt four damage to my 2-2. Oh no, we drew another. That was the next Starlet Seer Omen Hawk one. Same card. They're looking in looking in the deck. They're like, alright, what deals with the 8-8? What deals with the 8-8? Probably need a Noxian guillotine. That's probably the answer.
Alright, four mana. We will kill that thing that's stunned. My beautiful face. Time for the yeah. main event. Well, there goes my plan. I was going to Mystic Shot this thing, and then they wouldn't have a blocker. That was kind of my plan. Still not a bad plan. Or I can do another Shared Spoils. Yeah, Fizz would be a great one to draw. Fizz would be a big problem for them dealing with, for sure. Alright, so they have Noxion Guillotine. I don't think if I... If I Elixir of Iron, I don't get to... I don't heal that, do I? It doesn't go to like an 8-8 that's not damaged. I think it still shows that it's damaged if I Elixir of Iron. Right? Still show that it's damaged? Okay, it'll still die. Okay, yeah. Yep, Elder Sand still dies. That's what I thought. Just too bad. We got uh, we got another four four twisted fade, so could be worse. I'm not going to let them be able to use this guillotine to kill something else. Basically, one point away from dying right now. That was nice, zero mana rummage. Getting rid of that. Okay. Well, they're dead. Well, I assume this is going to do one point of damage. Blessed by snow and stars. I guess I don't get to play the Twisted Fate also. Like, Twisted Fate's one point. Huh. That's a lot of things killing that Draven. I kind of feel like it felt like I didn't really need to kill the Draven. That wasn't wasn't like the best trade I could be doing with the Jaw Hunters. We 
We are two and O. Oh. What's their plan here? I should have just mystic shot them before. If I just die here, that would be crazy. Am I really just gonna die here? Okay. What? That would have been me. Uh, that would have been learning a lesson right there if we would have just died. Dang, that was scary. We would have just died to <laughs> Ezreal. You know, they just have like, I don't know, like rummages and stuff like that and just play enough things that I died. I don't know what it could have been, but. Do you keep second Twisted Fate? So like the first one dies, you have a second? Uh, I don't know. No! I really want, did not want them to have a one drop and so that I got to on turn two uh, attack Pilfer Goods. I could cast Make It Rain right now, but Make It Rain just kills Omen Hawk. Like, that's... Rather... Oh no, that's even worse. I said I'd rather do more than that. Now it's doing less than that. Wow. This has not gone, gone well so far. Claw strikes. Yep. Wanted to turn on Plunder, of course. That's kind of what I was trying to do. Sorry, Twisted Fate. This has not gone according to plan. This has not gone according to plan. They're passing super fast. I know we don't we don't have the extra mana to attune, so I am kind of wasting a mana with that. Um, but the reason the reason why I'm doing that is to um, is to be able to play Black Market Merchant and Yordle Grifter and Pilfered Goods all in the same turn. Um, you know, basically have Black Market Merchant in play first before.
before Grifter Goods. could get this in play also to, to start leveling this up because you know it'd be Carved from the savage cold. <sighs> so let's see I go red card no blue card so I go blue card that's the first card play this that's the second card play these two, that's cards three and four. But then, attacking-wise, I don't have good defense at all. Yeah, maybe... Yeah, maybe just don't go for... Okay, I'm just not gonna go for Twisted Fate leveling up. Unfortunately, because gold, gold card... Twisted Fate, quite valuable. So I'm gonna go for Gold Card. Awesome one. I'm glad you're you're uh, trying out the Hecarim and Dirt deck, and glad it's working out working out well for you. Awesome. Glad to hear. Always want more cards. Eyes open. Give me more cards, please. Okay, okay. Nothing can take down a Sejuani. Still can. Fresh is worth at least twice as much. All right, am I doing my? No, I probably don't play stuff pre-combat, do I? Still can almost. Fell into us. It looks like trouble. Let's do this. Now can compare. Let's talk about your dad. So they play Leviathan. And then I'm going to be in trouble. Good thing a 6 9. That's unnecessary. Where are you at? 2 out of 8. 
All right, well, I know I'm playing this thing and getting rid of that. We're definitely doing that. So what are we doing with the other part? We could... I could just draw three fleeting next turn with the Twisted Fate pick a card. That would be... Uh, that would give me up to six out of eight. Um, or I could just draw one right now and play a Ruthless Raider. Um... I want to just draw the three fleeting, get six out of eight. Close to leveling this thing up. We're not too close to deep, unfortunately. We're still ten cards away. Alright, pill for goods. That's exactly what I wanted. We have a chance. Chance to stun this Leviathan. At least. Yeah, we're kind of on like a two-turn clock. These super big things. Looks like I'm on a hot street. Play one of these two. So one's gonna get burned, one I get to play. Gotta trust your instincts. I think I'd rather like I don't really want I don't think I need a, another sea monster. I'll take the spell. I guess I, I guess I can play them both now, because they didn't go straight to combat. So I could still I could play this and get gold cards still. Gets golden glory. I do the shared spoils for gold card. My stuff's gonna get stunned. This is. I forgot the Swain's gonna stun all my stuff. Alright, so just the, should have just had the Twisted Fate in front of that also. Um, even if I did, though, they would have, I guess, two damage would have overwhelmed over. And then we would have, so we still could have survived at one. That was a tough spot. Leviathan's good. Yeah, I should just block it, just in case. It's a pretty cool looking hand. I like it. Yeah, our deck, our deck uh, takes a while to win. This is a slow deck for sure. Um, lots and lots of card draw. 
not the fastest of, of finishers. Puppy, you were going crazy. Why'd you come up here? Where'd you go, puppy? Come on, come here. Pup. Pup. Jump. There you go. He's jumping around everywhere. Just wants to come say hi. Starlets here are good. Good two drop to play. So probably just gonna attack with the Fizz and then play Black Market Merchant. They're probably scared to use removal on Fizz because of how easy it is to protect Fizz if you have a spell. I don't realize that we actually don't have any spells. Um. Alright, what you get? Get excited. Not bad. There's the spell to protect the Fizz. Huh. Okay. I'm gonna go Twisted Fate Gold card. Just get free removal. Anytime gold card gets to, you know, or just either red or gold card, anytime either of those get to get to trade, that's good. Oh. Don't kill my twist of fate. use another card. I don't think that works. I don't think if we just remove it from combat then those would fizzle and not work. Zap spray fin <clears throat> drawing pilfer goods. Pretty good. Glory. A lot of card advantage. Your question, since the last time that we played Twi Twisted Fizz a few weeks ago, any changes? Is that is that what you're asking about? Gets golden glory. Um, if that's if that was your question, then then yes, yeah, we've changed a few things. Like I wasn't playing warning shots before. We kind of just found out how va how valuable warning shot is at burst speed over a card like parlay at slow speed. Um, so yeah, replace parlays with warning shots. And then besides that, um, the last time we played, we tried Slotbot, and it just didn't Slotbot didn't work that well. We didn't have yeah, it just didn't didn't work that well. And so I'm playing like some shared spoils um, instead. 
Yeah, like another Omen Hawk. This could be a good time for a playful trickster. It's too risky just to do it, you know, out like out of the gate with them having all all sorts of removal in their deck. This will work. So we'll have Ravenous Flock take out. And then a Thermogenic Beam. 3 2. You gotta be close to leveling up, right? 4 out of 6. Hmm. Well, that's pretty good. Fear the power. Yes. Not bad. GG's. All right, three and one. Lost that last game to Leviathan. Leviathan was a little bit too big and scary for us to handle. Let's see if I can get this. Okay, Black Market Merchant, Pilfer Goods. Mega Rain. Let's do it. I was gonna say that Omen Hawk would have been our best draw. Five two. Well, we can block that with Fizz. So next turn, if I do cast Make It Rain next turn, I only have five mana, so I can't Make It Rain Merchant. Um. Okay, that works. Can't Make It Rain Merchant and Pilfer Goods all next turn. So their top card's a Noxus card. I still just have to cast this right now while we know Lucian's gonna die. I just have to. Even though it's... My Pilfer Goods is now worse. Just gotta keep our life total high. We're gonna be outgrinding them eventually. 
Try to keep that life total up there. Oh no. Blade's Edge. I was definitely planning on playing Jaw Hunters uh, as a 4 1. But not with Blade's Edge. So I guess I'm challenging this. Uh, do I just take out Senna? No, I guess we have to take out Katarina, don't we? Get double Starlet Seer triggers as well. So two mana. Steal two cards from the top of the opponent's deck. Make them both cost one less. And also give your top <laughs> unit in your deck plus two plus two. Not bad. But now... We're going to have to block... Yeah... Scary. Pretty, that's a it's a mighty Senna. That was a mighty Senna. Yeah, we have to eat it. I don't want a Noxian Fervor to kill me. We gotta eat it. With the Devourer. Jaw Hunters is just Jaw Hunters is so underrated. Like those those sea monsters. Like, it, it seems like we're not really playing any top end, um, you know, too much with having, uh, what, 26 cards that cost zero to two mana. And then, you know, we have our we have our three of the three, four, you know, then we have Jaw Hunters and then Yordle Grifter, Zap Spray Fin, Twisted Fate. You know, like that's like our mid game and then just a couple Riptide Rex. But you're like, oh, we're not really playing top end. But those Jaw Hunters, I mean, we really are because Jaw Hunters makes those sea monsters and then... Between Merchant, Pilfered Goods, Grifter, we're taking top end cards from our opponent as well. So this is a fun deck to play. You get lots of decisions and also lots of low cost cards. You get to play a bunch of spells every turn. So that's that's always a lot of fun playing a whole bunch of spells every turn. Um, you know, we just got we got Leviathan, one game, and uh, that happens. But besides that, like our deck felt felt really powerful, and just a lot of, uh, you know, like you're kind of looking at a lot of the the best cards in the in in the game, right? Like a lot of the the best like cheap cards and card draw and everything like that. Um, yeah. All right. So another four one here for Twisted Fizz. All right, those y'all watching this later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Let me know what you think about the deck. What'd you think, puppy? <laughs> I don't think puppy was impressed. <laughs> but no, that's another good record there. All right, anyway, thank you so much for watching some Twisted Fizz, and I'll see you for the next video.